Hi guys, it's Patricia and today I'm bringing to you my September non-scentsy wax empties which include retail, vendor wax, and candles. So I have my bin here. I'm just going to apologize because the lighting here is up and down. The sun comes out, it goes away. So sometimes that makes it hard. You might see a glare. Anyway, so I like to usually do the candles first. So let's do the candles. You can hear lots of clinking. So we'll start with bath and body works. So the first one I finished up was a three wick, 14 and a half ounce candle and the Seattle white caramel cold brew. Now here in Canada, we don't get scent notes, but look at the ugliness down there. <laughs> There's so this sucker was a sooter. Man, it was an aggressive candle. I kept having to trim the wicks and trim the wicks. I never had any problems with puny wicks, that's for sure. It was very, very creamy caramel, very little coffee. I have the scent notes here. It says it's cold brew coffee, vanilla sweet cream, and warm caramel drizzle. So way more other than coffee. Sometimes I like to sweeten up my coffee scents that I have going. This was a great one to have. I do have another one. I will have to watch it like a hawk, exact same packaging. So that one I would repurchase again, probably not in huge amounts, but I did really like it. The next Bath and Body Works candle that I finished was Cider Lane in the one wick. And it looks like there's a fair amount of wax left. So what I'll probably do is put this on the warmer, but it basically dudded out at the end. Yeah, so this is my first Cider Lane candle and I liked it. Let me read you the scent notes. I have it down here on my phone. Warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove with essential oils. Yeah, so for people that don't really like cinnamon, this is a great one. You can definitely smell a little bit of brightness from the, the Granny Smith versus like a Macintosh. I find Granny Smiths are brighter and more sour. Yeah, you can smell the caramel. This little sucker did really well for scent throat just being a one wick. I actually really like their one wicks and I will probably pick some more up when I see them go on deal. So that's Cider Lane. Okay, let's do DW Home. So you're going to see five DW Home candles. This one here is Wish and this one is a one wick 8.4 ounces. Now I also have two other Wish candles. These, whoa, these little guys, one wicks that are about 3.7 ounces each. So the scent on this is vanilla coffee. When you light these up, they look so pretty. You can kind of arrange them three in a row. It's, it's really pretty. Let's see if I can do this without breaking. <laughs> so, yeah, this one here, it wasn't a super strong coffee scent. They didn't have covers on these. They were just dust covers. And it was probably a medium scent throw, maybe like a six, like all together, the three all together. Um, I would repurchase though, because I really like the ambiance. I really like the scent. And I really liked that you could, you, I mean, you could repurpose these if you want. Um, you could just slide another candle in there. Sometimes at Winners and those kind of discount stores, there's a lot of pillar candles like that aren't in packaging. So I might, I might experiment and just see if I can get one to fit down in there. But that is from DW Home. And another two from DW Home. These are in the One Wicks and Peace. And Peace is Sugar Spice, which it, it kind of reminded me like mostly a very uh, variety of spices so like a little bit of cinnamon clove allspice nutmeg those kind of spices and a tiniest bit of bakery but very minimal bakery mostly like the spice some sweetness and then the tiniest bit of bakery super nice I love these you can see a bit of soot uh, there and I should say there was one of my wish candles was a little bit sooty than the other but yeah one thing, these candles all came as a group of three. There's another one that's like a pine or evergreen. So you'll see those ones close to Christmas time. My last candle, which uh, I think would make eight candles for the month. This is a Yankee. It is a one wick medium jar and luscious pumpkin trifle. Now this one here, love the scent. Let me read you the notes. I actually have them on the bottom. Vanilla cake, cinnamon, sweet cream, and pumpkin. So very bakery like tiniest bit of pumpkin very vanilla based tiniest bit of tiniest bit of like that cinnamon not very cinnamon heavy at all but this was so so light like i wanted to love it 
but I would say like three or three out of ten. Um, I would love to have the wax melts in this and give it a try, but there's other scents that are kind of close to this that you discover. So I, I think I'm okay. If I saw like the if it had a a melt cup in my local area, I'd probably pick one of those up to try. But yeah, that is probably going to be a pass in candle form. Uh, for Yankee, I finished up a box of tea lights in salted caramel. I got these on uh, clearance. They were $7.24 with an additional 40% off. I got another, another box too. These are really, really strong. Like you can still smell them in the box. And these are great. I have an open tea light that has like a little um, cast iron thing. I, I often put a coffee scent in there and sometimes I will put one of those because it's a plastic. I don't put it in an enclosed um, vessel, but an open vessel, um, it's okay. And it kind of gives you a, like the caramel with your coffee. So that's what I use this for. Now this next one was probably a standout for me for the month. I mixed it with something, but on its own I really like it. And I'm burning a candle um, currently in the scent and it's almost done. And it is from Yankee and it is Spiced Pumpkin. And this is phenomenal. So what I did with this is I cut it up into four pieces and I warmed three pieces of my open layout on their own. And this is a, a little bit smaller than a clamshell would be. So a clamshell is about, let's say, I think it's around two and a half ounces and this is just two ounces. So very spicy, like you get a lot of clove. You get all spice, a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg, but heavy on the pumpkin and a nice strong throw. So what I did was three of them, three of the cubes I put at the same time in my warmers, all in my open layout like I usually do. Terrific. Super, super strong. The other one I decided to, there's one warmer that's a little bit less strong. It's a Yankee. So I kept that one going and added uh, from Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Cookie Crunch. And then I think I took the other quarter and cut it in half and then put vanilla cookie crunch with this and OMG, <laughs> that was phenomenal. I will definitely be picking up more of this. I actually got this for $2 and 60 cents, I believe. So anyway, I will, I'm probably not gonna get that, that cheap up here in Canada again, but I will definitely be picking more of this up and mixing it with vanilla cookie crunch because I love that combination. Okay, so let's get into vendor wax. What I will do is do the American vendor wax first and then I will do Canadian. From Keys Creations, I'm trying to finish up my very first order. I think I have one left, but I finished up two very vanillas. These are really, really nice vanillas. I think in the scent description it says that she looked and mixed and stuff to get to the ultimate vanilla fragrance and I really enjoy this. Here in my bedroom, it's probably a medium throw in a 15 watt glade hot plate warmer for a full tarp, but I love that. And it does last a fair amount of time because my, my warmer is not super intense. Uh, from Kay's Creation, catch them while you can in Pumpkin House Cafe. Now Ramona kind of suggest, suggested this, so I picked, I think I picked up four <laughs> packages all together and this is really, really good. Yeah, this is really, really nice. So thank you to Ramona. I would say fairly strong. I put, there's five um, little flowers. I usually take, what do I usually do? one to one and a half flowers and two tea lights spaced in my big area. So yeah, I really, really like that one. Okay, from Rose Girls, I finished up one item. It, it was a couple chunks in windmill, windmill cookies. This is from a D stash. I pu put these two chunks, um, they weren't full size chunks, but I put these two pieces in my son's room downstairs in Scentsy Warmers. Um, I just want to keep in mind, I get this question asked all the time, if you put vendor wax or any non-Scentsy wax in Scentsy Warmers, it does void your warranty. I'm okay with doing that, but I always like to tell people. So anyway, this scent here, I put a chunk, a, you know, a good little piece in each one. One's a 25 watt bulb, one's a 12 watt element warmer. It did fine. It wasn't a boomer by any means. It's like an almond cookie, this one. It wasn't a favorite of mine, and I love almond scents, but this one was just, it was okay. Yeah, I kept it going. I started it probably midday one day, let it go all overnight, took it out the next day. So that was from Rose Girls. Okay, so we have some a few things from Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, let's start with this one. It's a bakery, oh my lord, the, the light. This is a bakery bag in oatmeal, milk, and honey type. This I got from a D stash. This I warmed a lot in my open concept layout, and you think oatmeal, milk, and honey it like very, very soft, mild scent, but it was really room filling, did great. 
Then I finish it up here in my bedroom. I would repurchase that. I, you know, you, you smell a scent, kind of smells light in the bag. You're thinking it's not going to do anything. Her wax, I don't think I've ever, I think I've had one or two that have been kind of light, but everything else has been phenomenal. From Sassy Girl Aroma, Cinnamon Crunch Cake. This was also from a D-Stash. This was a piece. Um, really like this one. I felt like the cinnamon mix was mixed with something like clove. Um, it was really nice. You could definitely smell it like a crunch cake, almost like that crispy coating that the cinnamon gets when it bakes. Um, as the scent kind of continued, I felt like the cinnamon got a little intense and hot, so I added some, um, I think a, what did I add? Um, something from Tallulah and Poe, a, a birthday cake mix to it. It was super nice when I did that too. Normally you shouldn't add like new wax to old wax, but that's what I did because I didn't care and it worked out great. From Sassy Girl Roma, hot apple pie. I had a good sized piece of this, so I divided it and put it downstairs in my son's room again. This one wasn't as strong as the cinnamon crunch cake, but this was really nice, a nice apple pie scent. And yeah, definitely a good solid performance on that one as well. Probably about a seven out of 10. And just a nice, enjoyable, soft, you can smell that baked apple. You know, you just take one of those soft apples, put it in your mouth, it tastes so delicious, the butter and the cinnamon. And okay, from Sassy Girl, this is a frosted pumpkin type sample. This really reminded me of the Spice Pumpkin, pumpkin from Yankee. Oh, I really like this too. <laughs> it's definitely heavy on the spice. Yeah, they're both good. I liked them both. And this, I cut this in half and put it in just two. I cut this little one cent shot in half, put it in half of it my 24 watt Ashland, half of it my 24 watt Mainstays. And it did phenomenal. And so yeah, her wax is really good. I definitely want to put an order in with her at some point, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to wait a long time because <laughs> I'm trying to be good. Okay, from Super Tarts, I finished up from a D-Stash Spock. I've never actually purchased from Super Tarts before. The person had dated March 20th, 2018. Um, there might've been one cube missing when I got it, but this is, uh, this is fun to do. I know some people don't like it, but it reminds me of like playing some sort of musical instrument. The middle cubes are very, very soft. I'm not sure why. Anyway, this, is lavender blueberry cheesecake very heavy on the blueberry you can smell lavender as well I don't smell a lot of cheesecake but you can just kind of smell that in the background like there's definitely cheesecake there but it doesn't boom in your face cheesecake it's more the lavender and the blueberry to me very strong not a repurchase I, it just wasn't you know a standout for me uh, from VCS vintage chic sense I find that hard to say <laughs> phantom of the opera this was might have been a ghost the scent notes on this are spiced pumpkin, marshmallow, and zucchini bread. This was really enjoyable. Her wax has done well for me. I would say a medium, medium plus scent throw. Um, yeah, some people don't have luck with her stuff, but so far, knock on wood, I've, I've done pretty well. So down in my open layout, I enjoyed that. So next we will do Canadian. There's just three companies here. We'll go through them quickly. From Mandela Melts, I finished up two two scent shots so now all I've got left from her are my custom loaves and they are doing well and this one here was to togepi I have no idea how to say that I do not know what that's even from and that's probably embarrassing but anyway the scent notes on this are cotton candy sugar cookies and lemon fluff yeah this was fairly good people seem to love this one I was hoping um, to really love it it was just okay and it, it, it performed about a medium for me in my bedroom here. Mandela Melt Vampire. This was blood orange, grapefruit, and vanilla champagne. I had this in a body scrub and I love the body scrub. I, I wasn't as crazy with the wax because of the champagne note. I'm not huge into champagne notes, but I think I picked this up just because I love the body care so much and it was good, but I did part of it in my bedroom here and part of it in my kid's bathroom. And it was probably a medium on the scent throw. So from Make Sense Candles, I have four samples and one bag. So this is a bag from my first order back in March of 2018. It is white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. The label has faded, but that's what it is. This had a hole in the bag, didn't realize it. I still got a pretty good scent throw from it. It was like a cookie with nuts. You know, it was, it was good. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I'm glad to try it. Lately, I've been craving bakery and like almost like a lemon bakery. Anyway. 
Okay, so I don't know what's going on. These bags definitely seem more along the Ziploc. So when she sends her samples, she sends them in these bags. And I did message her one point and ask her if these bags were polypropylene. She said yes. Did I want replacement bags? I said no, I believe you. What I decided to do is I thought, I'm just going to warm these right away because they might have been sitting at her site for a while. So um, yeah, if, if it were me, I would probably just not use these bags because I, I don't think they're proper. But I don't know. I'm just... A little wax person in Nova Scotia, so what do I know? Okay, so the first one I finished up was Serendipity. The set notes on this are creamy vanilla, sugar, cherries, oranges, and fresh coconut. And on the site it says it definitely has a lot more coconuts than cherry. And I would say yes, but this one was very, very weak. And as far as, I, and I don't think I've tried a straight Serendipity before, so I don't know. But I was surprised. I thought this was going to be stronger, and it was quite weak. Um, I would not repurchase that particular one. The next one is blueberry bread. So normally with her samples, she just kind of puts them in these little bags and just labels them. And I, I write this part here and the date. So this is basically fresh, juicy blueberries and spicy, warm bread. This I did not like very much. The bread note in this was a bit odd. Just my personal opinion, um, just not for me. But I could definitely smell it. It did well downstairs. I mixed it. I was using it amongst other things, but in that area, you could definitely smell the bread. The next one is Champure, or Champure, I'm not sure how to say that. I think it's a Aveda type. Coriander, eucalyptus, lavender, orange, bergamot, and ylang ylang. So kind of like one of those, you know, fresh, um, herbal, eucalyptus type scents. Um, not super strong, but it did very well in my kid's bathroom. It was a big leaf, um, and so I, I used half of it, very skinny. I used half of it in um, two 15 watt Scentsy mini warmers in the bathroom, did fine. Lasted a while because it's in a low wattage warmer, but it did fine. You could definitely smell it, no problem. And a tiny little sample in rosy jelly, which is rose petals, geranium, lemon, strawberry, and vanilla. So this is a rose jam type. This I have going in my son's room. I put it in overnight one night. Could still smell it in the morning. Yeah, I was surprised for like tiny little, little dude. This did well. I probably should have given this to Canada Kim when I met up with her on my lunch, but it was so small. And then I wasn't sure about the bags. So anyway, because she really likes rose jam. Um, and she took me to Lush. <laughs> she was trying to teach me stuff. And I'm like, I'm a total rookie. I'm like, what's this for? And she's telling me. It was it was funny. Anyway, okay. So the next group is from Tulum Po, which uh, from Ottawa. Um, it's a Canadian company. She does ship to the U.S. as well as um, all the Canadian companies I've discussed today. And you can always just contact the vendor but the best thing is to just go on your their facebook group and the other thing is whatever their shipping is in canadian it's going to seem high but remember once you trans uh what, what do you call it once you convert it down to american you're gonna it's gonna be reasonable for you guys so from tulu Po, i finished up these two they were the same scent and it's called Thirty Thousand feet which is flying high which is a mix of candy fluff and salty sea air. And then she added Satsuma. These suckers, holy crap. Anything with Satsuma, you know, it's like an orange citrus type scent. It is gonna be strong. These things never were never ending. <laughs> like they lasted and lasted in my open concept layout. That is not a spot that you can get things to last very long because in a big area, the scent's gonna diffuse and dilute and then you're gonna kind of lose it. But this one just held its own. So that one is a good one. I probably would pick that one up again. And my husband came home and he goes, what am I smelling? I, I don't know. Sometimes when he says that, I don't know if he likes it. But he doesn't like grapefruit scents. And sometimes the Satsuma, to his nose, might have translated to grapefruit. But this was very good. Okay, so a couple summary type ones. Paws in the sand. These were little tiny paws. Um, this is sunscreen, Hawaiian tropic type, and Tallulah's Sweet Escape, which is, I think, a mixture of fruits. This was just okay for me. I had quite a few. So I think I gifted one to Danielle to see if she would like it. Yeah, it was, it's like a fruity, like something my daughter would really like. So I, I use that a lot in her bedroom. And all paws on deck. This is Coconut Boathouse, Ocean Avenue, and Coconut Grove. So this reminded me of like a coconut sunscreen, lots of warm warmth in this scent, very creamy coconut, you know, that kind of stuff. My husband likes these kind of scents, so... Sometimes I would warm this like downstairs in my son's room because he hangs out in there and watches TV with him sometimes. So yeah. And I finished up a bag from 
to Lola and Poe. I think this had like about nine hearts or something and it is a birthday cake which is basically fluffy white cake and buttercream frosting. This is what I mixed with um, Sassy Girl Roma just to finish it off. This is really really a good mixer but you know there's always tons of mixers so I probably would not repurchase it but I was happy how it performed. So that's it. That's all the scents that I used up this month and I'm trying to dwindle my stash. If you have had luck getting down your stash, let me know. It's a struggle when you're a wax addict to not buy more. <laughs> you have to balance the in and out. So take care. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods, and I will see you guys in the next video.